Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Man, let me tell you one thing. I got so much confidence in the Lord because it's not that you're arrogant. You know, a lot of people think when you have confidence in your walk with Christ, you're arrogant. No, not so. Because when you're confident in God, God, he will move miracles and yeah. move, move mountains on your behalf. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I got the confidence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, saints, welcome. I want to welcome those that are watching on, on, on YouTube and Facebook. We bid you greetings for our morning worship service at True Destiny Ministry. Thank you for tuning in and watching us today. Amen. We don't count it robbery that you're joining us today, and we just thank God that you're here today. And so without further ado, we're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank and praise you, Lord God, for the, this is the day that you have made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord God, for having confidence. Thank you for giving us confidence, Lord God, to walk this life. Yes. Lord God, so many things are happening around us. But we thank you, Lord God, for allowing us yes. to see another day, waking us up this morning. Mm -hmm. Lord God, giving us the activity of our limbs. And those that may not have that activity, giving us the right mind yes. to serve you still, in spite of what, we, what it looks like, in spite of what we go through. Now, God, I decrease that you increase in me, Lord God. Take my mouth, my words, Lord God, that the people that will be listening under the sound of my voice, they hear your word precisely and clearly and receive it and not just hear, be a hearer of your word, but a doer of your word. We give you glory and praise for what you're going to do today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. You can be seated under the sound of my voice. Go ahead and put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. Maybe it's my phone is delayed. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, saints, I thank you once again for yes. thank you for being here today. Because God is a good God. Yes. Amen. He's a good God, saints. Yes, yes. We good? Okay. Yes. God is a good God. And I want to welcome you to True Destiny Ministry, those that are watching once again. And listen, I want you to get your, your notepad. This is going to be a great service of today. I anticipated a mighty move of God because of who he is. Not because of me or anyone else. It's because of who he is. So get your notepad, your pencil, paper, whatever you got to do. So you can write down some, um, some, some notes what God will be saying to us today. And just tune in. Just listen carefully and listen to the word and write the scriptures down. Because it's going to be um, helpful to us. You know, we were listening... Before we came on, we were listening to a song about confidence. You know, confidence is um, it's important in our walk. Mm -hmm. It is. Confidence is important. You know, and, and Bible tells in Isaiah 55, 8 through 9 says, My thoughts are not like your thoughts. Mm -hmm. His thoughts are not like our thoughts, says the Lord. And my ways are far beyond anything you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. His ways is far beyond what we can imagine. Mm -hmm. Then it goes on in verse 9, it says, For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways. And my thoughts, my thoughts higher than your thoughts. So he's basically telling us, that's not our focal passage, but I wanted to uh, 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 give you that scripture so you can understand that even when we think it's one way, it's not. God don't think the same way we think come on, come because on. we are on us. Uh, our, our mind, the Bible says, our mind can't even grasp mm -hmm. for the things He has for us. Yes, we can't think that far because of our walk, how our belief system is. But He says, "My thoughts are not like you. No, it's, not. it's not like your thoughts, mm -hmm. and my ways are not like your ways. My way is far beyond. You know, some people can have some bad ways. They can have some nasty ways. Yes. But He's telling us." Our ways are not as far beyond anything we can imagine. Yes, yes. Far beyond anything. It goes on to say, for just as the heavens are higher yes. uh -huh. than the earth is, my way are higher than yours. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's what Isaiah 55, 8 and 9 is telling us, saints. So today's message title, my message is confident. Uh -huh. mm, you can pick it up by now, confident. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you know what? I want to break that word down for you. Uh, uh, you know, there's two ways. You know, some it's another terminology, confidence. Mm -hmm. That's one word, one way, and it's confident. And before we, um, so I wanna, I wanna uh, uh, pray for uh, uh, everyone. Remember to keep uh, Minister Sylvia and her family in prayer. Yes. She lost her father uh, yes. uh, uh, last night or this morning, yes. and she found out this morning. You know, her father has has transitioned. So we remember to keep. 
dump that family in prayer. Amen. Yes. Yes. But when I looked up confident, it says confident means feeling sure of yourself mm -hmm. and your abilities. Mm -hmm. Not arrogant. Not in an arrogant way, but in a realistic, secure way. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's why I said earlier, I said some people think when you're confident that you're arrogant. But no, you're just confident in your life. Mm -hmm. You're confident in your walk. In the, in, the, in the Bible, I mean not the Bible, what the dictionary says, what's the dictionary says, you're in your abilities. You're confident you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Just like a doctor, they know what they're doing when they're operating. They know you can't you can't go in the operating room and say, no doctor, you shouldn't have did it like that. Mm -hmm. The doctor went to school for it. You're confident mm -hmm. in what you know. Mm -hmm. Then it goes on to say, uh, 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 in the Webster Dictionary, confidence isn't about feeling superior. Mm. It's not being superior over anyone mm. or to others. It says it's a quiet, a quiet inner knowledge mm -hmm. that you're capable of. It's a quiet, you know, when you're confident, you don't have to uh, 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 be boisterous, boast, boasting that I got this, I know this. No, mm -hmm. it's an inner, it's an inner feeling. The, the, the dictionary says. Of knowledge mm -hmm. on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. Being confident. So I want to break that word confident down. C equals God's concern about. Mm -hmm. He's concerned about you and I. Mm -hmm. He loves us. Mm -hmm. He's concerned about you and I. Yes, he yes. loves us. He's concerned. Mm -hmm. yes. O means we must be open to receive from him. Mm -hmm. You must stay open to receive from God. You must keep your heart open. Mm -hmm. Stop. People, I know people that shut their minds, shut their bowels of compassion up. Mm -hmm. They don't care anymore. This, we're living in a, a, a world where people not care like they used to. Mm -hmm. And never wavering. Never wavering your, your thoughts or your confidence in God. F. Never wavering in your faith. Mm -hmm. Don't waver in your faith. Mm -hmm. Your faith must stay strong. How do you stay strong? Keep building it up. Keep building it up. I, his instruction is clear to us, saints. You don't know what God is structured for your life? Crack the book. Read the book. He will direct and guide you. D, stop doubting your calling. Come on. Stop doubting what God placed on the inside of you. Stop doubting what God said to you. A lot of people are doubting, and then they have people in their ears that, that uh, say, no, you can't do that. You shouldn't be doing that. Stop doubting what God called you to do. Stop doubting who God called you to be. Open that business. Yes, yes. Uh, go for it in ministry. Yes. Stop doubting it. You always doubt it. Some people sabotage their own selves. It don't be the devil. You be sabotaging your own self. Those of you who are watching, stop sabotaging your own self mm -hmm. and go for it. Stop doubting the calling of God in your life. Mm -hmm. the, the calling of God don't have to always be behind the pulpit. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people think you're only called when you're preaching. Say, no. Mm -hmm. No. The calling of God could be just ministering or talking to one of That's your passion. Mm -hmm. Where your passion is, is where the calling of God in your life. Mm -hmm. Because he's anointed you for that. E, empty yourself so he can fill you. Get out of self way. Get out of the way. Empty yourself. Get out of the way. A lot of people are in, you're in God's way. Mm. Empty yourself. Get out of self and allow the Holy Spirit to fill you. Mm -hmm. And you're in your next season. Recognize the season that you're in. You're in the next season. You're going to get stronger. Your next season is going to be better. You've got to speak it in an atmosphere. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. your, your next season is going to be better. Yes. And T, trust God's process in your life. Mm -hmm. yes. Trust that he's able to do what he said he's going to do. Mm -hmm. He will bring it to pass. But unless you, have the, you don't have the confidence, you won't know this. You won't know that this is what God has, the plan of God for your life. We're living in a time, saints, where people... Well, people no longer walk about faith. They walk about sight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, they walk about faith no more. They walk about sight. I believe it when I see it. That's, right. mm -hmm. that's when you walk by sight. Mm -hmm. That's how they believe it. I believe it when I see it. But that's not the plan of God. That's not what God wants you to do. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. Mm -hmm. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. So I want you to do this. Turn your Bible to 2 Timothy. This is one of our focal passages. We're going to go over a couple other scriptures. 2 Timothy, the third chapter. 
And I'll be reading some things. I'm going to read this from the um, New Living Translation. 2 Timothy, the third chapter, verse 2 through 5. And like I said, while you're turning it, people are called, people are, because of their walking by sight and not by faith, they, we're living in a land of paranoia. People are paranoid. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're going, they're chaotic, there's chaos around our land. The, uh, the enemy has dispatched the spirit of chaos and people's minds are warped yes, with them. On. They're saying the things that are right is wrong and the things are wrong are right. Mm -hmm. They're living in a, 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 a land, we're living in a land where this thing has has, has progressed so fast and it's coming to, it's entering into our young babies. Mm -hmm. So we got to keep our children in prayer. Yes, right. We got to right. keep them lifted up in prayer. Right. 2 Timothy, the third chapter, you, in verse 2, do you have to say amen? Amen. amen. I'm reading, um, the, like I said, the New Living says, people will, will, will love others, I'm sorry, people will love only themselves and their money. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. Mm -hmm. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God. That's what they do. They picking on. Don't you see a lot of people more now? They picking. They they they, they mocking God. Mm -hmm. Picking. Mm -hmm. They thinking they they think it's done. They think it's cute. Mm -hmm. Mocking God. Yeah. And disobedient to their parents mm -hmm. and ungrateful. Mm -hmm. They will consider nothing sacred. Mm -hmm. Everything across the board. Nothing is sacred anymore between them and God. They will be unloving and unforgiving. Mm. It's a lot of unloving people. We talk about saints. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, we expect that from the sinners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we talk about people in the church. We talk about church folk. People that say they go to church. Got yellow, pink, red, and purple markers in their Bible. <laughs> then it goes on to say, they have no self-control. They are cruel and hate what is good. You heard what I just said. They hate what is good. They think what is good. They think when well, uh, 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 their good is bad and bad is good. They twist it. People are twisted. Mm -hmm. People are twisted. They will betray their friends. Uh huh. They're reckless. They're puffed up with pride and love pleasure than loving God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. They act religious, the scripture says. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they act religious. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got all the they got all the sayings, know the scriptures and all. The devil know the scriptures. Mm -hmm. But say but, but, but they will reject the power that could make them godly or change their lives. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. They know the word, but they reject. Oh, that ain't for me. Oh, it don't. It, you haven't you had it before? It don't take all that. Come on. It do take all that. And more. And more. Come on. And more. And the Bible says, stay away from those kind of people. Mm -hmm. I didn't read it. That, I didn't say it. That's the scripture. Stay away from, mm -hmm. stay away from them. Because you know why it says stay away? Because you know what? There's such thing as transfer of spirits. Mm -hmm. That thing will get on you after you. When you're around something or someone for so long, you'll be, that become a part of you. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard, um, I heard someone once say, when you're, when you're changing something in your life, changing something new, it takes 21 days for it to really, really, um, for it to really uh, manifest, I'll call it, to make that, that change to be, to happen really good. Let's say, let's say if you are a person want to do, um, go from me, go be vegan. Let's use an example. And it, it, you have to take, it takes 21 days or probably longer, I don't know. But it says, I heard someone say it takes 21 days for your body mm. to adjust mm. to certain things and certain, uh, um, uh, ways and stuff like that. It takes 21 days of those of you that may, uh, uh watch it or maybe a smoker and, or maybe a drinker. It takes 21 days. Uh, to get that out your system and 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 and, and, ju and to re re um re uh for your body to really uh get rid of that that kind of thing in your body those things in your body. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying all that to say this, saints. You got to uh and, and if that is your case, I suggest you get confident enough to know that God can bring you through this. <laughs> yes. He can bring you out of that thing. It's not good for our bodies. It's not good for uh, 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 for your health system. You know, uh, you know, and I'm gonna use this example because I used to smoke. 
uh, uh, smoking have um, uh, cigarettes have formaldehyde in it. Mm-hmm. That's what they they do dead bodies with. I was told. Mm-hmm. You know, so what you do? You smoking? You smoking stuff that they put in dead body? Put them in dead body people. So we're burning up something on the inside of us, and our bodies are the temple of the Holy yes, Ghost, is, and we're yeah. not to defile the temple. The yes. word of the Lord tells us. So you got to keep in mind. Don't 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 damage your temple. Mm-hmm. That's yes. that's your temple. Yes. You're not getting another body. I don't care how many people can clone you. You're not getting another body. <laughs> so, so therefore, have confidence enough that God will bring you through. He'll deliver you from that. When, when we fail to put our confidence and trust in the Lord, we lose out. You're going to lose out when you don't put your confidence in him. Turn to Hebrews. I told you we're going to um, chop some scriptures down. Hebrews, the 10th chapter. We still talk about confidence, saints. Hebrews 10. 10 and verse 35 and 36 I'm going to be reading. Because we need confidence to live in this God, this life, this kind of life. Yes, we need yes. God's confidence. Yes. We really do. Mm-hmm. Because of, uh, let me tell you something. If you don't have confidence in what you do, if you don't have your knowledge and confidence, let me tell you something. The enemy will ride you mm-hmm. like a donkey. Yes, and he'll tell you you're less than. And you'll begin to believe it. And that's how you will sabotage yourself. You will start speaking things in the atmosphere. What you say, I promise you, will come to pass. Either good or bad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It'll come to pass. Yes. So what you say, it, 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 if it, whatever come to pass in your life, we'll know what you've been saying. So that's why I always say around here, speak it into the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Speak it. Let the enemy he know what, you're, what, what, you, what you believe in. What you trust in God for. Verse 35, you get to say amen. You got to say amen. Therefore, do not cast away your confidence. He said, don't cast it away, which has a great reward for us. For you have need of endurance. So that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. I'm going to read it. The New Living Translation says, So don't throw away confidence. Trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings you. Yes. Patient endurance is what you need right now. So that you will continue to do God's will. Then you will receive all that he promised. Mm-hmm. We need endurance power. Because mm-hmm. people are giving out of gas real fast. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about mm-hmm. octane and I'm not talking about natural gas. They giving out <laughs> gas. They're spiritual gas. Mm-hmm. They get yes. you say one day and you're backslidden the next. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have no endurance power. And it's like a and it's a scripture that t- I'm we gonna read about any wind, toss a wind come your way. You done blew that you done blew away. You done took over. You have no more confidence. You don't have no no endurance. You can't endure. That means you can't tell me you uh, you you um you you play sports because when I was when I when I my husband is a coach and, 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 and by nature he retired now. But when I watch him, all the sports he do, they have to they what they do they have to train off season. So you got to have endurance to train. So this is our training. Yes. Reading the word and praying is our training. Off season, mm-hmm. and then when it's when you get in the game, <laughs> let's talk about the game. Let's, let, me, let me do a side note here. <laughs> Yesterday, we were in, oh my god, the um, the uh, minister Sylvia and I we tag along with the men, men of faith that did their um, their fishing, mm-hmm. and, 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 and we had a good time, we had an awesome time, and um, and so we tagged along yes, and we got yes, and yes. shout out to minister Sylvia that never fished, and she called it a nice. <laughs> Big size fish. We thank God for her, and I uh, thank God for her trying riding along. It was a, we had a good time. Yeah. But but uh, uh, I know I will. Catch, at first, I wasn't catching nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it, it takes them out. And I'm like, man, what's going on? I ain't catching nothing. And here it is. I gave Miss Cecilia my pole, and she my my rod. She catching on my rod. And here it is. I'm tossing mine. I wasn't catching nothing for hours. <laughs> I'm not losing. I'm going to speak about me. I ain't talking about nobody else. And so, and so I was, I was, and so what happened was, and after a while, uh, uh, Pastor D, Mr. Coach, we, I, you know, he, he had his trunk bag. I went over there, saw his fishes out in the water, and, 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 and I'm throwing the cast in there. I ain't catching nothing. And so, and so he looked at me. He said, I know what 
you doing? I said, what you doing? What I'm doing? He said, you change the line, do this and that and the other. So I said, okay, let me listen to the coach. And then I changed the line. As soon as I changed that line, I cast, I cast that thing and I start, I start hitting. And I'm, I'm, I'm seeing all this. And the, the, the man of God, he, he, he got, I, I was saying, coach, coach, you got me in the game, coach. I, right now I'm on the bench. I ain't catching nothing, coach. And, and, and I ain't got no points in the game. And I said, boy, when I, when I start catching, I go, oh, I got some points now. I was so happy. I was like, man, I ain't used to this. Cause I'm, a, you know, I, I done went online, Facebook, and start posting, putting stuff the other day. Talk about, I could, uh, you know, sell out. <laughs> Selling out, talk about, oh, well, I can show you better than I can tell you, and all, all kind of stuff. And I said, oh, you know, I ain't come back, I ain't got no fish now. I don't, I don't put myself out on Front Street. So I'm saying, that all that, I'm saying all that to say this, how it's important that you have endurance. We endure. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, we endure. We was, it was hot. It was hot out there yesterday. And I said, man, I'm going to listen. My, I ain't talking about my knee or nothing. I'm going to catch me some fish. <laughs> So you got to have some endurance power. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to stay in the game, stay in the race, mm -hmm. and that's in the natural. What about the spirit? When you the spiritual, uh, when you when you in, uh, uh, in a fight, and the fight is not ours, the battle is not ours. It's the Lord's. Mm -hmm. When you're fighting, and but you got to know where to go to, how to endure, mm -hmm. how you endure with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. That's how we endure. That's yes. how we go yes. forward yes. in the things of God. That's how we get our uh, we get our uh, uh, dormant power. Yes. That's how we need that. We need that, saints. We cannot afford to give up. It's so many people giving up. Mm -hmm. It's so many people giving up, and and this, and they don't realize how important this is a season yes. to stay in the game. Yes, yes. Stay in the race. In the race. Stay in that race. Jeremiah seventeen and seven. Turn that for me. Stay in the race, saints. I'm talking about yes. confidence. Stay in it so we can finish it. We got because people are giving up. People are giving up. It's so it's so easily. I ain't seventeen verse seven and eight. Are we gonna read Jeremiah seventeen verse seven and eight says, "Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord." Why are you giving up so easy? Because you're not trusting. That's what it is. That's why you giving up so easy because you're not trusting. Then it goes on to say, "Who." Who has and whose hope is in the Lord? I'm going to read that again. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and who has hope in the Lord. You got to have trust and you got to hope in them. Mm -hmm. That's what confidence is. Mm -hmm. That's what the confidence is. And verse 8 says, for he shall be like a tree. Say tree. tree. Say I am the tree. I am the tree. Planted by the waters. You're planted. You're planted still. Them waters may come. Oh my God. You, I know. And listen, I love to see the water just flowing. And you're standing, you're seeing a, a tree and a water, and that water could be running, going back. That tree ain't going nowhere. That, 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 listen, that tree said, you can hit me all time, all day and all night. But I ain't going nowhere. That's what you got to say. I may get, I may get bit, I may get down, but I'm getting back up. I ain't going nowhere. I'm not giving up on God because he didn't give up on me. That's what you got to say. Yeah. But look what it goes on to say. And for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters. Uh huh. Which spread out its roots by the river. Because you know what? When a, a tree and then a water, it, the roots spread out. It's deep. They run deep. Well, how deep is your roots? How deep is your salvation? Do you have that penny any salvation? Well, just when that water hit, look what it says here. And when and will not fear when heat, say heat, comes by its leaf when it will be green. When heat comes, when you get affected by the storm, affected by heat, when something is not happening right, are you gonna sabotage it? Are you gonna fall? You're, that means you're not rooted. Your roots are don't your roots not running deep. <laughs> your roots are not grounded. They're not attached to the root. You know, you can cut a tree down, and those of you ain't um, dig up them roots, it's going to grow back. Mm -hmm. That's how we are in the spirit. We got to be rooted, mm -hmm. rooted and grounded yes, in God. Yes, yes. And it goes on to say, and, and will not fear. You won't fear when He comes. Mm -hmm. But its leaf will be green. You'll stay be green. You'll still be part of that faith. You say, hey, hey, that water may hit me hard. I may have some troubles. 
But I'm not gonna turn them. I'm not gonna turn my back on God. I'm not giving up. Where you gonna go? That's right. Where you gonna go? And what you gonna do? I'm trying to figure out what you gonna do. Cause you either gonna serve God, or you gonna serve the enemy. Yeah. Where you gonna go and what you gonna do? Then it goes on to say, and you will not be anxious in the year of drought. Come on. You won't be so over. You won't be giving up and want to do it yourself. You're going to wait on God. See, I'm going to wait on God. Nor will you cease from yielding your fruit. So when you when you uh, when you wait on God, you're going to still bear fruit. When your trees are, when you're rooted in the word of God, you're rooted in your salvation, you're rooted in the Lord, you will still yield fruit. Yes. You'll still get that fruit mm-hmm. blossoming from your tree. Wow. Yes, yes. You will not you will not bear bad fruit. You won't sabotage yourself to to the fact that you won't have you don't have you'll have less than. You will still you, you could listen, you everybody don't need to know that you're going through. Mm-hmm. People want people want to show it on their face. You don't know sometimes you don't know when people are going through. That's right. Yeah. You could be sitting by your brothers or sisters, they're going through all kinds of turmoil. But because they're rooted in the God, Come on, because now. they're rooted in where yes, they're at, yes. because they're standing on the word of God, yes, no matter yes, what, yes, they say, I ain't going nowhere. That's right. I'm doing what God say do. Yeah, yeah. Devil, you may attack me in any kind of way, but I'm going to do what God yes, say do. Lord, yes. You know, Job said, though he slay me, though everything is, I lost my finances, I lost my, my, my family, I lost everything, yet. I'm going to trust in God. Yes, yes. Can we still give that same testimony? Mm-hmm. Though I'm going through, though I'm facing battles right now, I'm not going to show it. Yes. Yeah. Come on. I'm going to trust in God. Yes, yes. Because well, guess what happened when Job did not doubt God, when he continued to trust in God? God gave him double. Yep. When he's told, when, when the enemy told, uh, stole his family, killed his family, took all his cattle, took all his money, God gave him double. He had another family. That's right. Yep. He lost one, but God gave him double. Yes. So what do you think he'll do for us? He got to give you double. Yes. But you got to stand firm. Right, stand firm what God said in your life, saints. Right, yeah. My God. Philippians 1 and 6. Go ahead and turn there for me. Philippians 1. You got to stand firm. That's right. Stand firm on God's word. That's Don't right. give up. That's right. God wants you to remain or get confident or and get confident. Right. And he is concerned about your life. Yes, yes, he is. Philippians 1 and 6. 1 and 6 says, being confident of this very thing. That he say he who has begun a good work in me. Say that. He that begun a good work in me. Yes. He will complete it. Until the day of Jesus Christ. Yeah, he, yeah. Until you're gone. If Jesus if tar- if Jesus tarry, he's going to complete that work he started in you. Mm-hmm. But you got to have confidence that he'll do it. Yeah, yes, yes. Don't waver, saints. Don't throw in the towel. My God. Don't uh, stop giving up people. So he don't let that give up spirit come on you. Yes, yes. Jesus. It's a spirit out there about giving up. Yes. Mm-hmm. Don't let it come, don't let it come on you, saints. Yes. Don't let it enter to your children. Yes. Pray for those kids. Pray for these babies that they, they oh my God. Just pray for these babies that they in our school system they're trying to uh, uh, force things on them. Mm-hmm. Your child don't know nothing about no 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 sexuality. Mm-hmm. Well three year old know about their sexuality. Mm-hmm. Five year old, come on. Mm-hmm. Posing things on our children. Pray. We got to pray, saints. The church is sleeping. It's time to wake up. Yes, yes. And pray. Right. Mm-hmm. God is showing us something. Yes. He's showing us in the in the natural what the world is doing, mm-hmm. but yet we're not praying. Mm-hmm. Yes. We got to pray, saints. Yes. yes. We got to remain on our on our on the battlefield and pray. Yes. And and so your life in order to get remain confident, you must be open to receive his word. Listen to this. When you receive it, not wavering your faith. You must follow his instructions because they are clear to us. Uh huh. He has called us all to a specific assignment. We all got our own assignment. Yes, yes, yes. Stay in your lane. Yes. That's it. That's it. Stop crossing over another folder. Stop trying to do what. Listen, I can't do this because God anointed you for it. I'm not going to try to operate and do this. I'm not trying to get out there and be no coach. I'm not going to try to be out there and be no teacher. <clears throat> 
I'm gonna just be honest with you. I tell pastors all the time, it takes a special person. And those of you are teachers, mm -hmm. I commend you. Yes. It takes a special person, an anointed yes. person to yes. deal with other people's kids to be a yes. teacher. Mm -hmm. Cause I still believe in corporate punishment. I've been slap somebody across the head. <laughs> <laughs> but it takes a special person yes. to be some, a teacher. It really does. Mm -hmm. And we have to pray for our teachers. Because you know they, they come up against so much so many things that now they believe the lie before they believe the teacher. Mm -hmm. Not saying there's no bad teachers, but they're good ones too. Mm -hmm. That's in it for the the, the, the children. Right. So we got to pray for them. Mm -hmm. God will weed out the bad, oh. the wheat and the tear, he'll do that. Follow his instruction because they are clear to us. He has called us all to be specific to a specific assignment. Stop doubting your call. Yes. Stop doubting the call on your life. Empty yourself of your ways. Let him fill you daily. You got to die daily, saints. We got to die daily. We got to oh, we got to die or uh, uh, give up our own ways. Repent every day. Feel, uh, uh, let him feel you daily so you will be ready for your next season. Yeah. It's your next season, saints. Those of you believe it's your next season. But trust God process. Trust, listen, um, turn to one more scripture, y'all. 1 John. 1 John 5 and 14. Hallelujah. I pray that this helps someone today and Amen. they're confident in the Lord. Amen. Because listen, we are we are, we're in the battlefield. Although that battle the battle is not ours, it's the Lord's. We still gotta fight. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You still gotta fight. You gotta speak those things that be not as though they are. When you when you realize that something is happening and it's not going your way, speak it to an existence. Mm -hmm. Have the confidence on the inside of you. Ask God to help you. You don't know, ask him to help you. First John 5 and 14. Listen to this. It's, it reads, now this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything to his will, according to his will, now you, got, you catch right. that now. Right. You gotta ask according to God's will. Yeah. You can't be asking, you can't be asking according to somebody else. That's right. Uh-huh. You can't be asking uh, uh, according to someone else, uh, 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 uh for somebody else to mind. You gotta be asking according to God's will. What he's gonna do if you do? He hears you. Mm -hmm. Verse 15 says, and if we know that he hear us, that's confident. Yes, yes. That's confident knowing that he hears us. Mm -hmm. It says, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petition mm -hmm. that we have what we ask for from him. Whatever we ask for, we already know it's a done deal. Yes. Uh -huh. Whatever you ask for, it's a done deal. Yes. We have the petition because it's God. Do you have true confidence, saints, to trust and believe what he has said to you and I? Yes. Do you have true confidence? If you always find yourself doubting, always having a doubt, oh, well, God said this, but you got a but in front of every sentence you say? Hmm. If that's a but, you mean, listen, you got to build that confidence. What God has said to you needs to build your spiritual life. Yes. Build your spiritual confidence, saints. You need a double dose of, of a, a, a double dose of confidence on your life. You do. I want to pray with each and every one of you that faith, your faith is renewed. If you think you need a double dose of confidence, the altar is now yours. If you need prayer yes. and you need a double dose of confidence because of what, what uh, 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 you've been facing or whatever the case may be, the altar's not yours. Hallelujah. A double dose of God. Anointing. Sometimes God has told us to do certain things. God has told us to do certain things and and we 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 just don't we just because we we so used to sabotaging our own self. We don't we fail to do that. But I want to encourage you. I just want to encourage you. Someone today, I'm encouraging you today that's watching. Send your prayer request if you need a double dose. If you need a double dose, 
of confidence. Go ahead and say your name. Stretch your hands towards the woman of God as you stand here. Okay, so those are here, stand to your feet.